everyone, it's Desiree, and I am here with Spellbinders and a die set from The Painter's Garden by Susan Tierney Cockburn. I enjoy her dies whenever she comes out with these sets. She puts so much thought into these dies and how they're going to create the image of the flower that you are creating. Um, they take a little bit of work, but it is definitely worth it. As always, I've taken care of my die cutting before, and I am using her kit. She has actually come out with a tool kit that has everything that you need to bend and twist your cardstock. And that's what we're using here today. I am just using solid cardstock. I'm not ink dyeing it. I am not ink smushing it. I am not adding colors to the end. I am just using the straight cardstock. So for the very small pieces, you may not use all of them, but I did take care of all of them. You're going to use your small stylus and push down on them so that they cup in around and you want them pretty tight. For the center of the flower, you want to take these pieces and use very fine pointed scissors and cut those little tiny lips in half. Then you're gonna come in with the medium or a small stylus and just cup those around. And those, when you cut them in half, they're gonna separate just a little bit. So it's gonna make it look a little bit fuller for that center. Those pieces that we did prior, they're going to go around those pieces. For these flowers here, you need to cut out those images twice. You can cut it out more which will give you a different look of a zinnia. And that's what we're making here because I think I totally forgot to say that in the beginning. Yes. You can, I believe they are called button zinnias if you use more, if you cut it one more time. So you would have three of each. We're just gonna do the regular. And what I did was to choose my colors, I went online on Google, you gotta love Google, and I just typed in zinnia images. And wow, all the colors that are there are absolutely amazing. To each of the petals for the small and this large flower, I used the leaf tool, which is a straight metal piece and just scored down three times in each petal. I am now taking the fine point tweezers and I am cupping and wrapping or bending that cardstock around the tip of those tweezers. And I'm gonna do that one more time to the last one. Once we do these steps, the flower is done because we'll start layering it after all of our pieces are done. Whenever I do flowers like this, I do it somewhat in a production style. I do each of the pieces individually, individually in a row and then I start combining and, and putting those layers together. For the leaves, I cut the large and the small three times. On the back side of each of the leaves, I'm using the leaf tool and scoring down the center. I'm then going to flip these leaves over and I'm going to score on each side and then just do these diagonal lines on each side of those lines that I did. So it's, it's putting this very veiny effect onto your leaf for the zinnia. Once that's done, we're going to take our tweezers towards the bottom, cup the flower around, and then use a stylus when we flip that leaf over to flatten out the top edge. And you can see it holds the shape. When you're, as you're doing all of this bending and twisting and pushing, you're breaking the fibers of the paper. It's like when we fold a piece of paper in half, it stays because we've broken those fibers. You're doing this as you're doing all of these bends and twists and pushes on this cardstock. So that's why they really do hold their shape. I'm gonna bring in a small piece of silicone 
uh, matte, and I'm going to use my Beacon Kids Choice glue. This is the best glue to put any type of layers together that you want to have a lot of dimension. So I use this for my florals when I do this. You can see as I'm adding all of these layers, it's just filling up. Make sure when you add your layers that you straddle them. Don't put them, don't put all the petals one on top of each other. Just put them into the different areas to, so that the flower can be full. I put the smaller center into the larger, set that in place. And now I'm going to add these little tiny petals around that center. So it's a different color. The center is a yellow and then that outside perimeter is a, a deeper, like an orange, a lighter orange. And I'm just placing those around, which is cupping in all of those edges of the cardstock so that it can really fill that in. You can see why I use a piece of silicone. The glue does ooze out, but boy, does it really hold these flowers together. These are two others that I did and I have more leaves ready to go for our card. I have a panel that's cut to four and five and a quarter and I'm placing that on a dark blue panel that's cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. I am using my liquid adhesive and I'm going to place this down onto my standard A2 size card base. The sentiment that I'm using here is one of my sentiments in my stash. It is by Spellbinders um, and it's called Enjoy Expressions. I do not believe these are available anymore. And if they are, they are tough to find. Um, I've had these for some time um, and I just, I love the fonts. Um, they're just fun. And plus I also love a sentiment when it has that cloud behind it. I just think it makes it stand out. I used the dark blue for the shadow and I used the white again for the word, the sentiment itself. With this set also comes with stamps that you can add to the word enjoy. So I added the sentiment, your birthday, and I stamped that on the dark blue cardstock and heat embossed it with white powder. Again, I am going to come in with the glue because we're going to place our flowers down and then we're going to tuck those leaves underneath them. So once I knew that I had the flowers in place, now we're going to have fun uh, just tucking in those leaves. This glue is very thick. Absolutely love it. It is just extremely thick. Now, I have this card in front of me and I am pushing literally on these flowers. And because there's so much glue that's in there and when it dries, it doesn't flatten out. It keeps its shape. That's what, that's what I love about this glue. It just holds the shape of all of these pieces and the flowers when you layer them. It's just, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. It's wonderful. Yes, wonderful. Um, and yes, I will have that linked down below. <laughs> I keep my adhesive linked down below for you all. All of these leaves that are left over, I will keep and put them in my die cut extra uh, container that I have. And I do hope that you enjoy this. Um, I hope it helped you to learn to twist and bend that card, that card stock and give it some wonderful shape so that it will come to life. Again, this is the Painter's Garden Collection by Susan Tierney Cockburn. And I will have this linked down below. Um, so that you can see the entire collection. She has created so many um, for this. If you haven't yet, I'd love for you to subscribe <clears throat> and then hit that thumbs up button. And if you have any questions, leave those down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Take care, enjoy the art that you create and remember what's most important for me. Always be creative guys. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Till then.